Hey, I'd like to show you a couple of tips on how to make your teeth more realistic in your acrylic portrait. Hi, I'm Matt Filio. I'm working on the 16 by 20 commission painting of a couple with their cat. And I'm at that stage right now where I want to add some nuances to the teeth on this painting. And I'll show you how you can incorporate this to get better at your portrait. Let's zoom on in here. So this is where we're at right now. I'm going to show you the reference photo so you can take a look. And one of the common mistakes artists make with teeth in their acrylic portrait is that they paint them flat white. And teeth are actually not white. And I want to show you that. So if I hold up this white card here and we have the teeth up next to it, you can see the difference in the value. And I'll just zoom in a little bit closer yet. But you can see the difference in the value. The teeth actually are a light gray. They're just a little darker than white. So what we want to do is we want to paint the teeth a little bit darker than white. And of course you want to look at your reference photo, study it so you can see exactly what shade you're looking for. Use a white card or something to measure your values. And so when you do that, you want to paint the teeth just a little darker than white. And that sets you up for being able to put in these really cool highlights. So um, on her teeth, we've got a little pinpoint highlight right here on this tooth. We've got another one over here, and it, it's in the upper area just next to the lip. This one here is on the right middle side. Um, and there's a slight one on the top here of this tooth. And you really want to pay attention to those highlights after you shade in your teeth where the value is close enough, you can pop in these highlights using titanium white and it just gives it a real pizzazz, really just brings the, the whole portrait alive and uh, makes the mouth and the smile so much more realistic. So what I, I would encourage you to do that um, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's zoom on over to my actual painting now. There we are, so this is where we have it currently. And I'm going to mix some titanium white, a little bit of raw umber dark. It's just um, basically raw umber, but it's just a little bit of a darker shade. And some ultramarine blue. And we make a nice kind of blue grayish hue. So let's show you this on my white card. This is what it looks like. Can see that right here. Well, there you go, now you can see it. So this is what it looks like on the white card, just kind of a grayish hue, just a little darker than white. And then what you want to do is put that, that shading in. Let's add just a little more ultramarine blue because I notice her teeth have a slightly bluish tint to them maybe because of the background or the lighting, I don't know. But here, I'm gonna show you that. So it's just a little more blue now. And I guess just a little darker as well. So this is, this is our current color we're gonna use. And I mix a little bit of matte medium into it. It's not completely opaque. Matte medium is just clear acrylic without the pigment. And you mix it into your paints on your palette, it gives you a really good uh, opportunity to, to get blending, shading, increase depth in your acrylic portrait. Makes it so much more lifelike and lively. Okay, um, let's add the glazes in. We'll put the glaze here and here. And that might be a little dark. I'm gonna just thin that out with a bit of matte medium. We're gonna add a little more matte medium in there. That's easy to do. And then we just fill this in. We get a little bit of differentiation by shading it on the right hand side. So that then gives you that sense of depth. So I'm adding, adding these glazes really more to the right side of each tooth based on the lighting scenario that we have here in this portrait. Just fill that in. And we want to keep in mind too that it's gonna be a little darker on the perimeter. So 
Uh, the gums are, are extending a bit of a shadow over the teeth, so we'll let that dry and we'll put another glaze on that. Here we have the tooth kind of coming over to the right hand side more. I'm going to add a bit more raw umber dark and ultramarine blue and just get a slightly darker mix. And I'm going to add a bit of a shadow right here. Now let me show you what I'm actually doing then on my white card. So if these are her teeth right here, just kind of draw some shapes for teeth. And here would be the bottoms. What I'm doing is actually adding some shading to the right hand side like this and I'm kind of just leaving this left hand side white and that gives us more three dimensionality. On one of the teeth though it's actually recessed so I put shading over the whole tooth um, and then the next one I think catches the light more. But you have to look at your reference photo and see what you have and that'll make a difference. And another thing to keep in mind too is that Two of the teeth are going to be larger than the others, so really pay attention to the actual um, size of the teeth as well. Okay, let's uh, dive back in here. Let's add a darker, darker value just to these teeth on the left hand side. Just these two, that with another glaze, and darken that a bit. And then we can add some very faint lines separating the teeth. And I'm just going to, by the way, I'm using a size 2 liner brush. It works really well. And I'm just going to drop these little lines in. So you want to make sure the lines that separate the teeth are very light in value. And that's important. Very light in value. I'm going to add a little bit of titanium white to this glaze and I just want to blend it into that glaze because it got a little too dark there. Okay, so now we have a good foundation and we can then add we can then add some highlights on top. So I want to make sure that this is dry enough. I'm going to Grab some straight titanium white. I'm going to spray it a little bit. Get that really fluid. So we got some straight up titanium white here. Maybe just a little more. It's got to be fluid, but you want it to be as opaque as possible. And we'll take that and we'll add some highlights on top with the titanium white. You want to get your brush to a nice point, really get it saturated on the bristles and give it a twist. And then we'll just drop one of these highlights in right here. Drop one in on the top as well. So two little highlights in there. And again, I'm basing that on the reference photo. So you can see that. And I'm going to wipe my brush off and just make sure that I don't have any lumpy visual texture here. I'm just going to smooth that out a bit. I don't like to actually have the paint getting lumpy. Um, and so there we go. And now what I can do is take some of the same titanium white. Well, just a bit of Indian yellow to it just to warm it up. Just a little bit of Indian yellow right here, but I want to take this titanium white and then just add a kind of a more washed out highlight. I'm going to thin this out with matte medium. Yeah, and then I just want to put in a little bit of a highlight on this tooth on the left because that one seems to be catching more light than the other one. And then this one has a little bit of a highlight on the bottom. So I'm overall keeping it darker on the perimeter, but just, just a bit lighter than what I had. So here I'm not trying to put in those bright pinpoint lights, but just an overall roundness to the tooth. But what those pinpoint lights do is they portray the moisture in the mouth, right? Because, you know, all of our mouths have saliva and so that coats our teeth. 
when we smile, the light glistens and reflects off of that, and that's why we'll see those highlights sometime, especially with uh, frontal flash photography lighting like we have in this case. But uh, this is how it looks then. I'm not saying it's done. I might add a few more nuances to it, but I just wanted to show you this overall idea of modeling the teeth, adding shading and highlight. So anyway, I hope this uh, video was helpful for you. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That hel helps this channel to be seen by more people. Subscribe to this channel. Um, share this video with your friends. And uh, I want to say thank you so much for watching. You can see more of my tutorials, videos, and classes at realisticacrylic.com. Uh, many lessons and videos available for free. Check that out. But again, thank you so much for watching this video. God bless, and we'll talk to you soon.